Hello and welcome. My name is Heather. I'm a registered professional counselor and a certified life coach. Today, I'm going to be analyzing the episode where Lorelai and Max break up. Let's get to the show. It's nice to see you. Yeah. I've been really busy. Oh, sure. I assumed. I wanted to give this back to you. She's at Parents' Day in Chilton, and she decides that this is the best time to break up with him. She leads the breakup by trying to return his book to him, which is the typical move with breakups, where you return each other's belongings. Except Max doesn't know that this is a breakup. What's going on, Lorelai? Nothing. I just don't think a book whose first sentence is 20 pages long is for me. Well, I left four messages. I know. I've been meaning to call. What's been keeping you? I don't know. Lorelai tries to deflect how she's really feeling about Max by saying that the reason she's returning the book is because the first sentence was 20 pages long and that it's not the right book for her. This could be her way of letting him know gently, but she's not clear and Max obviously has no idea what's going on. So it seems that Lorelai has been avoiding Max and not returning his calls. And when asked about it, she couldn't give him a clear answer. That probably would have been a nice segue into the breakup conversation. Sorry. Sorry? Uh, that I didn't call. Okay. Here. Why do you keep on trying to give me the book? Because it's yours. Is there something going on here that I don't know about? Yeah. I uh, hate Proust. So she apologizes for not calling, kind of half-heartedly. It doesn't inspire a lot of confidence. And when Max asks her a direct question about what's going on, she again deflects and says that she hates Proust. Now, I don't know if you've ever been in a situation where you had to break up with someone. It's not easy, it's uncomfortable, and you don't want to hurt someone you care about. And quite honestly, we were never taught the proper etiquette or the protocol to break up with someone that doesn't add emotional traumas or baggage for the other person. I wish Lorelai had a chance to see my other video I made called How to Break Up With Someone The Right Way because this is not going well so far and it's quite brutal to watch. Do you think that this was an appropriate time for Lorelai to break up with Max? Let me know in the comments below. You're breaking up with me, aren't you? I don't know. Not only are you breaking up with me, you're doing it really badly. So Max was able to piece together what he thinks Lorelai's intentions are, and even stating the fact that she wants to break up with him, she says, I don't know. She's clearly experiencing feelings of doubt and confusion, and that's okay to have. Typically, if you're in this state, it's best to be able to talk through some of these feelings, and this is where hiring a trusted counselor and therapist can come in handy, because her reaction to the relationship is probably triggered by something she hasn't dealt with in the past. And the fact that Suki also mentioned this, that this has happened to her other relationships all within the two-month mark, she's noticed that this is a consistent pattern of Lorelai's that needs to be worked through. Otherwise, she just keeps getting the same results. I just need space. Well, I don't. I want as little space as possible. A hundred clowns crammed into a Volkswagen. That's the kind of non-space I'm talking about. It's okay if you need space, and it's okay if you need to take a step back and reassess the relationship, but you need to be able to communicate that so it's clear to the other person. What does needing space look like? How long do you need space? Are you still exclusive? Or can you see other people while you're needing your space? And then Max says that he wants as little space as possible. Now, clearly, they have conflicting expectations of the relationship. And what they're both wanting can cause a lot of anxiety and fear in the other. Maybe Lorelai feels that the relationship is moving too fast or that she's feeling suffocated. And when she hears Max say that he wants as little space as possible, it can arouse those feelings of anxiety. And maybe Max is afraid that he'll lose her. So when he hears that Lorelai wants to take a break or that she wants space, 
it brings those feelings of fear and anxiety within him. It's not working. Well, it was working pretty good the other night. Look, it is what I've been trying to tell you all along. This is a family. Rory and I, you walked into a family, but you weren't listening, and now she's getting attached, and I'm afraid that she is going to get hurt. We've seen Lorelai explain to Suki that she's worried about Rory and Rory getting too attached to Max. This could be a legitimate concern but it can also be a convenient excuse to end the relationship or to use it as a default reason as to why she can't get close to someone. So your solution to all of this is not to return my calls? It just took me a while to figure things out, and it all came clear when I realized how much we could hurt Rory. Don't you mean how much we could hurt Lorelai? So both Max and Suki made the point about Lorelai getting hurt or getting attached, except that she would project and say that it's Rory she's worried about. I don't understand this. I thought we went through this. We, we, we decided that Rory could handle it. Well, maybe she can, and maybe she can't. I'm not ready to find out. So it sounds like they've already had this discussion before, and there was an agreement that they would continue with the relationship, and that Rory is old enough to handle whatever outcome may come from the relationship. I can understand why Max may be feeling confused right now with Lorelai suddenly backing out of the relationship. Again, it's okay if she changes her mind about her relationship with Max or if she's having doubts about her feelings for him and that's where the ability to differentiate would come in handy. So being able to differentiate her feelings from her thoughts. I came here to give you this book back. Please take it. I swear to God, if you try to give me that book one more time. Clearly, they still have feelings for each other. There's still a sense of attraction between the two of them. I think Lorelai is just very confused about what to do in this situation, and her attempted breakup led to a makeout session, which can be even more confusing for her and for Max. And then Paris sees them kissing, and tells the whole school. So let's see what happens afterwards when Max and Lorelai meet up. The other day, we were going skating and Rory said, why don't we invite Max to come along with us? And that was a little weird for me. She's never really referred to anyone I've dated by their first name before. Okay, good. So she's finally opening up about what's really going on and talking about her feelings and experiences. This could have been helpful if she talked about it earlier on at the parent-teacher conference, but at least she's doing it now. She likes you. She likes us. And so my mind instantly went to, oh my God, what if we break up? She'll be crushed. And then my next thought was, oh my God, what if we break up? I'll be crushed. So we're getting more information now, and she's expressed how she was worried about how Rory would feel if they broke up. And now she's finally admitting that she would also feel crushed if they broke up. So this is good because now she's owning her feelings, whereas before she was distancing herself from them. I freaked out. I'm so sorry. I, I never meant to treat you like that. I'm, I'm not very good at this. Good. So she apologized as well and said that it wasn't her intention to treat him like that. She also acknowledged that she's not really good at this. I'm guessing she means dating or being in relationships. What would be helpful is if she was able to reflect on what is behind that freakout. Maybe something triggered her when Rory called him Max and invited him to go skating. Usually, when people are triggered, it's because there's an emotional wound that isn't healed, and these triggers may differ from person to person depending on their experience, interpretation of experience, and how they reacted afterwards. For example, if another woman was dating Max and her daughter said the same thing Rory did, they may react differently and might not even get freaked out by the fact that they're calling him Max. I was called into Headmaster Charleston's office today. He said I was jeopardizing my career and my future at Chilton. And then I realized that he was right. What happened the other day was completely unprofessional. There's a social exchange theory in psychology that is based on cost-benefit analysis. And this explains that relationships should maximize benefits while minimizing costs. In other words, 
If the relationship has more benefits and low costs, people are more likely to continue the relationship. Whereas, if there's more costs than benefits, people may not be satisfied in the relationship and choose to end it. I think Max is realizing that the relationship costs outweigh the benefits. Maybe we need to take a little time away from each other. Okay. Just to figure out how to do this so it's not so hard. Sure, that makes sense. It sounds like they're taking time away to figure out how to make the relationship work. Again, this conversation could have been more clear. Do they have an idea of when they'll get in touch to see what ideas they've come up with in order to make it work? Are they broken up? Can they see other people? Having these conversations and making sure that everyone is on the same page and the lack of understanding can lead to potentially hurting the other person or causing more confusion in the relationship. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up. If you have any scenes or relationships you'd like me to analyze, leave your suggestions in the comments below. In the meantime, take a look at my other therapist reviews videos and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Until then, be kind and love yourself.